What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders bringing you a Victory Tuesday recap of the performance from the MV3 candidate Lamar Jackson. If you guys enjoyed the Jackson 5, if you liked what you saw out of the Ravens offense, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this Baltimore Ravens offense. Now before we get into it, I will be doing the defense later. I know there's a lot of concerns there. We're going to be focusing on the offense, all the good things that they did, Lamar Jackson did. Um, before we dive into this video, big thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Thursday night football lines out, ready to go. Vikings coming in as three-point favorites. I absolutely love that line against a banged-up Rams team. I know they're getting Cooper Cup back, but that minus three is looking pretty juicy. You guys can get bonus money to make bigger bets by going over to BetUS using promo code YouTube150 to get 150% sign-up bonus. You can also get 125% on your next two deposits up to $2,000. More money, bigger bets, bigger winnings. Go check them out. And so you can see here the Jackson 5, 17 for 22, 281 yards, dotting the field, plays at all levels. Um, just really one of Lamar Jackson's best games um, as a pastor. And he really has become Mr. Monday Night. He's up to 6-2 uh, and two on Monday Night Football. He's had two Jackson 5s, 20 touchdowns to zero interceptions. And he is now 23-1. and one against the NFC just absolutely ridiculous and going into this big theme was going to be the Bucks use of the blitz and you know this has been something that was a weakness early in Lamar Jackson's career that has become a strength and you can see right there he was second in success percentage against the blitz going into this game the Bucks have been a top 10 blitz team every year under Todd Bowles they were gonna blitz they did blitz on 61.5% of his dropbacks. Lamar goes 11 for 15, 166 yards and three touchdowns. That strategy didn't work. Um, I'm not sure when teams are going to get away from thinking they can blitz Lamar to death. Now, I will say we're going to start here with the two sacks on the opening drive because I was panicking. I don't know if you guys were, um, but just, you know, that blitz was working. And you can see it's a different type of blitz than we saw with the Bengals. It's not that cover zero look. They're trying to disguise. They're walking guys up late. You see 54 walk out, walk up, and then they're going to drop the uh, will linebacker and the weak side edge player. Um, so just a different look. And so this sack here happens because Roger Rosengarten is going to quick set. And as he jumps up, jumps out, sorry, he's not going to protect his inside stop sign hand. That hand's not going to get up. Um, you know, Lamar staying in his first read. Um, so, you know, hard to put that on him. Pretty uncontested rush. Uh, then we get into the second play. This was on third down. And so, again, they're only showing a four-man line. It looks like they're in um, their nickel package, but they've walked Antoine Winfield up, who's over top of Mark Andrews looking like um, they're in man coverage. And then they're going to bring Winfield and um, they're Mike linebacker and you're going to see McCarry and Justice Hill here just myth the, you know the protection sets up well Stanley's going to kick out to the edge player and then they should have McCarry on uh, on one and Hill on the other that's a literally uncontested rushes so going into the second drive we want to see an adjustment and that's exactly what we got out of Todd Mungler just a simple little flag route um, as we get out here but this is thrown into the one spot that only Kolar can get to, and it literally floats it over. You see the edge defender trying to get up for this ball. It's literally floated over him. That ball could not have been placed any better. Um, so, you know, we're using play action. We go down the field on this drive with, uh, you know, the play action worked. They had the end around of flowers that went for 19 yards. They used RPO to likely to set up this play. And here's one thing that Lamar Jackson is doing so well against the blitz this year. So you're going to get the blitz here from the Will linebacker. So he's going to he's going to blitz as he steps up late. Again, this is coming. He's not showing early. He comes late. Lamar's easiest ways to beat the blitz is when that blitzer comes. It's vacating this space, and he's just waiting for Mark Andrew all night throwing into the blitz. Um, just a thing of beauty. And so here we get the big play to Rashad Bateman. Uh, this this was a second touchdown drive. It starts off of a 13-yard uh, run by Derrick Henry. And so the Bucks aren't running. They're running cover one here, uh, but they are going to stack the line of scrimmage. So they got six guys there. The Ravens are in a five-man protection, no running back. 
Mark Andrews is in there, but it doesn't look like he's chipping. And so they're just going to run a five-man protect against this. So with six showing, that free rusher, based on whether they slide left or they slide right, is going to be on Lamar Jackson. So that ends up, they're going to slide left. It's going to be this edge defender here on the right side. Um, They're going to slide to his blind side, basically. And so most quarterbacks... Well, sorry, just be clear. So this guy becomes Lamar Jackson's responsibility as the free rusher. And so most quarterbacks are going to have to hit their check down, which is Justice Hill out here. You're going to see as he comes, there's that little check down. But Lamar Jackson and his ability to throw on the run is just going to roll out right thing of beauty. So you're going to see Bateman's going to run this route out of the slot. If I can get back. So he's going to run this out of the slot. And you can see right here, the Bucks have a have a communication error. The safety's up here. I, it looks like he stepped up and he shouldn't have, or they should have had a, the DB dropping. But Rashad Bateman's wide open and breaking. So because Lamar Jackson has to curl out here, he can't get that throw out. And Bateman's getting a little too deep. So th- what they do is they work into the soft, pot, soft spot of the... Um, of in the scramble drill the soft spot of the field one foot is going to be next to impossible for lamar wide open spot and to be completely clear this this o-line played this well they slide protect left 52 drops out they can't do much about the bailout and so you know everybody picks up who they're supposed to pick up they were showing six they were showing more in the protection than the pressure someone is going to come free and game created by showing that blitz so now we keep rolling here and so this was uh, after, so they get down there, Lamar Jackson throw uh, runs a QB power into the end zone. They call that bogus holding call on Daniel Falele, second and 17 here, and they're going to run a screen. And this just so happened to be into the blitz. You're going to see that nickel blitz here and sent come late, and they're going to run this one. Uh, not to be negative towards him or anything, but just something he's got to do better because you get this set up so well. Look at four Ravens O-line out there when's the last time they ran screens like this just thing of beauty we, we're taking care of the defenders inside with these three offensive linemen Falele looking right where he should be looking but he's just got to angle better towards these two he's got to either slow up throttle down um and start to angle in there and is able to make it work gets through um but just something we need to see a little bit better so there we're at two touchdowns we get into a couple field goal drives here but this was a critical play so the ravens get the ball back with 258 left in the second quarter they're up 14-10. They run two plays. This gets us down to the two-minute warning. Here's your third and five play out of that two-minute warning. So two minutes dead even on the clock. Buck showing blitz. And this is a big play because if they have an incompletion here, it's going to be like 155 left on the clock. Buck's getting the ball back. You know, three puts them down one. Seven puts them up three. Um, so this is a huge third down. And so they're going to motion likely across. Nobody follows him. So they're in zone. There's that motion giving Lamar the pre-snap read. And when that comes, Lamar's just going to throw this into the easy zone. And the biggest thing that these Ravens receivers are doing this year is getting past the sticks. So likely he's going to hit that curl and then get tackled. Hard to pick up Yak in that situation, but he was past the first down marker. That sets up. Um, that sets up first down. Now, they've been doing a really good job of using this three-man stack. So you're going to get trips to the right here um, from that uh, from that bunch. They motion out Bateman, and here's throwing into the blitz again. So they're going to bring the nickel off the edge again, just like they did on the, on the touchdown hill to hill. So they're going to bring him, and Lamar is going to take advantage of these two clear outs from, I believe that's Aguilar and Zay. Bateman's going to be the short runner. Ends up. Because this ball comes out so quick, he gets the rough on the passer. So they get 15 on top of this. But this is, again, what I... On, and that, I believe that was a hit to the head. Um, wasn't a late hit. I believe it was the, the defender struck his, his helmet. Inside the 10. This is where all the insanity happens. So the Ravens get 30 yards of penalties. <laughs> they, they're inside the 10. They get 30 yards of penalties. We're back. Um, they Lamar hits Justice Hill for 8 yards. And then that sets up... This Nelson Aguilar slant that goes for 20 sets up the chip shot. Um, but really like the way Lamar read this. So Hill's going to motion out here. You got Zay and Likely um, in a tight stack. So Likely's going to motion down. So they're in tight here. Hill's going to run this way. And that motions both of these linebackers to the right. So if you look where Lamar's head is at, he's going to see that. So he's going to see them go that way. That just opens up this slant right into the middle of the field, vacated by those linebackers. And, you know, they're trying to get 
they're trying to get yards here to set up an easy field goal. But I mean, damn, Nelson almost breaks that. Um, you know, if three gets pulled a little bit, if he can break that tackle, he might be getting in that end zone. So sets up that easy chip shot. Now we're in the field goal drive after half. Um, this was a really critical play to me because they had the high snap that got them to third and 25, the the snap that hit Zay when he motioned across. And so, you know, we're outside of field goal range now, and they started with great field position from a good kick return from Justice Hill. And this is what I think Todd Munkin did so well in this game is taking advantage of the Bucks playing so much zone. So they're going to motion Justice Hill out. And again, nobody's going to follow him. They know they're in zone. So they're going to throw this little swing pass screen. And what that does is it creates numbers, right? That's how we win in the screen game. We set up blockers. We got three on three out here with space ahead. And, you know, we're just trying to get yards here to try and get in field goal range. And Justice Hill is going to do just that. So not quite, you know, a Lamar Jackson play on this one, but that's a Todd Munkin play. Um, I know that they had the fumble on the Zay Flowers back by Hill to set up a 52 yarder. And now we're going to get back into the streak of touchdowns. So the holding call sets up second and 20. We're on the Tampa Bay four back out. It, he basically puts the feel and trail technique here that he's going to be bending this out for an out route. And as he does that, he gets enough space to plant this right foot. It's going to plant right here, and he's going to take off upfield. So right there, and that creates that separation, and then works his way back upfield with that explosiveness. Now, if you watch Lamar Jackson relative to his route, so Bateman's going to start to break right here, and you can see as Bateman is breaking out, Lamar Jackson is already loading that back foot. He is going to throw this with complete anticipation deep, and the ball is out right there, just as Bateman is breaking open. So he had just turned his momentum, and right there, ball is out, and Lamar throws him open. This is what people wanted. They wanted anticipation on it, just absolute thing of beauty. Now we get into, I know this isn't a Lamar Jackson play, but had to show it. This is going to be the Derrick Henry 81-yard run, and so the star of this play is obviously Derrick Henry, but Charlie Kolar, you're going to get right here. This edge defender is going to motion inside because they don't have a receiver out here. So they got the corner setting the edge. So he's going to kick inside and that plays so well into Charlie Kohler's advantage because as he goes in, Kohler is going to seal that shoulder quickly and get into the second level. So right there's the motion. That was, you know, a touchdown, 81 yards. That sets up Mark Andrews, with one of the best routes I've ever seen him run. He is going to, you know, we saw earlier, we saw Rashad Bateman absolutely cook someone off of the release last week. We saw Zay Flowers literally sprain or tear Dax Hill's ACL with route running. Watch what Mark Andrews does to this poor safety. Snap's going to happen. Work him inside and just leave him leaning wide open so let's go back take a look at this he's going to work him inside right there and get him literally leaning facing the wrong direction lamar's just going to throw him open easy pitch and catch we're up to four touchdowns and then we get later in this game and i mean this is the ravens are at 34 points i think it was 34 18 at this point and you know they got a score because the bucks went for two made it a two possession game we know the onside kicks that happened later. This was a this they needed six on this. So they're third and six. This is a big third down. And again, Rashad Bateman's gonna and this is just bad DB player here. Um so the corner's gonna play off man on third and six. And you can see he's playing about ten yards off. And so he actually backpedals, sticks, um, takes what he gives him. That's what we have from Lamar Jackson, your leading MV3 candidate. Um, just a beautiful game from him. Jackson 5, so exciting. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed that breakdown. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video.